Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elliot, a junior doctor in the UK that is specialising in psychiatry. And on this video, we're checking out a clip from an old episode of House. House has got some pain, but the kind of pain that actually might benefit from a psychiatrist. Let's check it out. Okay, elevated proteins in a CSF could mean dozens of different things. Viral encephalitis, CNSV, Kortsfeld Jakob disease. So we're just CJD. I'm remembering why med school ruined the show for me. So the brain and the spinal cord are surrounded and nourished by this fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. And we can test that fluid by popping a needle in between the bones of the spine, poking it in, taking a sample and testing it for lots of different things, particularly for problems that are going on within the brain that include things like infections, sometimes autoimmune disease, sometimes cancer. To have elevated protein and nothing else wrong in the CSF is incredible incredibly non-specific. It could mean anything or it could mean nothing. They've jumped straight to this extremely rare condition called Kritzfeld Jakob disease or CJD, which is basically the human form of mad cow disease. Really? If you're too distracted to deal with this because your leg hurts, then- Yeah, I'm distracted. I'm all hung up on this 15 year old patient who's cataplectic, can't remember what she had for lunch and is rapidly losing control of her body. And I want her father here in case they got any more secrets that I need to know about. If you're not too distracted, go take out a piece of her brain, stick it under a microscope. Ugh, it gets worse. A brain biopsy? Seriously? Heard you killed your supermodel. Only for a minute. Just for my own clarity, how many more patients do you have to kill before you admit this leg thing just might be a problem? Three. Chronic pain can have a really devastating effect on people's lives. Not only does it affect things like your sleep, and your mood, but in this case, it can affect the way that you think and your judgment. Pain is a warning sign. It's a warning sign that a danger is around and you need to either fight it or flight it. That's where the fight and flight response comes in. And when you have all that adrenaline, you get some tunnel vision. So not only is House distracted by his pain and maybe missing stuff that his team are saying, but combine that with the tunnel vision and it means your judgment ain't exactly tip top. Several different researchers have proven psychological pain can manifest as physical pain. You think I have a conversion disorder? You want me to see a shrink? Wilson is absolutely right. There are a whole heap of presentations in medicine that come under this banner called medically unexplained symptoms. And this term is actually a misnomer because they can be medically explained, but really what they refer to are conditions that we can't exactly diagnose on a scan, or a blood test, so they aren't caused by a structural problem in one of the organs in the body. Nonetheless, the symptoms are real. A lot of these actually have a psychological cause. They're caused by intense and overwhelming emotions that your mind, without actually being aware of it, converts this psychic or psychological pain into physical symptoms to try and make it a bit easier to deal with. They're called functional disorders. Now, House mentioned a particular one called conversion disorder, and this one isn't actually correct. Conversion disorder is a type of functional disorder but when all this conflict and this stress comes along, what it leads to is a loss of neurological function. You suddenly lose the ability to see, to speak. You lose parts of your memory. You can't move your limbs. You can't feel certain parts of the body. What House actually probably has is something that's called somatoform pain. So this is legit pain, but from a psychological origin. None of this has anything to do with Stacy. Right. Giant coincidence that you've gone completely off the rails since she left. Inducing migraines, worsening leg pain. Ow! Oh, you miss Stacy too? Anything that causes intense and overwhelming emotions can potentially lead to functional symptoms, especially if there's no other outlet for all these emotions. They tend to find their way out some way or another. I need a favor. I'm not in a giving mood. It'll help us both. I need a shot of morphine in my spine. If your leg hurts, take your Vicodin. It's not enough. Yes, his pain is worse. It's also probably an element of what's called pharmacological tolerance, where he's taken his oxycodone for so long that all the receptors in the brain that the oxycodone acts on to cause its effect, they're just used to having a constant supply, so they readjust. And over time, you need more and more to have the same effect. She's not going to do it, is she? Get one of your lackeys to do it. I don't want them knowing that you're on the road to becoming a junkie. That I'm in this much pain. I don't want them questioning my judgment. Hang on. So the boss is just encouraging her employees to dish out controlled drugs to each other. How were they allowed to practice medicine? This is ridiculous. Because it's a fictional show. You can't ask Wilson. He figures it's all in my head. Well, I agree with him. Is it all in my head? Well, 
only in the sense that your brain is in your head. Unfortunately, functional disorders are attached to a stigma where even a lot of healthcare professionals think that means that somebody's making it up or putting it on or attention seeking and some really, really horrible terms like that. Pain or the symptoms are absolutely real and they're completely legitimate. They're just of a psychological origin that therefore needs psychological treatment. Is this in my head? Because I could swear I remember a thigh muscle being here. So functional disorders don't have to be brand new, never experienced before symptoms. It can also be a, a worsening of existing chronic symptoms. So it can be a worsening of existing pain, for example. You seem to be back to your old miserable self. So I just randomly predicted she'd respond to IVIG. Her twitches are gone, her memory's getting better. What did you take? The increased pain was psychological. No drug's gonna help. If you think it'll help, the drugs will help. Power of the mind. Placebos have been shown to lead to clinical benefits if somebody believes they're actually taking the active drug. It's the basis of having placebo controlled trials for new drugs. We have to know that a new drug that's coming onto the market does above and beyond what just the mind simply thinks it might be doing. Interestingly, research has also shown that injectable forms of placebo lead to more benefit than pill forms. Colored pills lead to more benefits than sort of plain or white colored pills. And placebos administered by the doctor leads to more benefit than the same placebo administered by a nurse, for example. Power of the mind. I need another shot. When did the pain start coming back? A few hours ago. About an hour after you solved the case. If I wanted to be psychoanalyzed, I'd get Wilson to give me the shot. He's lost the distraction. So now you're faced with either having to deal with the emotion, or if that's too difficult to deal with, your mind converts it back to physical symptoms and you have to deal with the physical symptoms. If you'd be more comfortable, I'd be able to deal with a few less CCs of morphine. It wasn't morphine. What did you give me? I told you I wanted- It was saline. I gave you a placebo. Again, ethically dubious, but basically everything they've done in this show so far has been ethically dubious. Ethically dubious slash bad medicine. Interesting demonstration of somatoform pain though, not something that's often covered in sort of popular TV shows. So that was an interesting watch. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything else you want me to have a look at and comment on, do leave it in the comments below as well. Otherwise, my name is Elliot and I will see you soon for the next video. Bye.